Welcome back to Get Connected. I'm your host, Con Jackson, coming to you from Singapore, because you know our show's all about connecting you with places you want to go. And this is one cool place. If it's not on your radar, it will be by the end of the show. And people that are in the know. And our next guests are starring in a new show that features a competition of sorts. It's got Luke Rogers, his brother is Aaron Rodgers, who's quarterback of the Super Bowl champion Green Bay Packers, and a world-renowned surfer, Dave, who joins us now. Welcome, gentlemen. Hi, Con. Hi, Con. Well, gentlemen, it's great having you with us. And Dave, let's start with you as a champion surfer, paddle surfer. I'm just curious, was it harder to teach Luke to surf or have that surfer-type style? <laughs> <laughs> I guess the, the style comes with uh, time, so that might be be the most difficult part of the whole thing, but uh, it, it was challenging. I'll just say that, it was challenging. Oh, that's funny. Dave, tell us when they came to you and asked you about doing the show. Well, when, when the clean break um, presented by Shake Hydro people called, you know, I kind of put the phone a little closer, sat up, and started to listen a little more, because, uh, I mean, that's a pretty legit company. And when they presented the, the premise of the show, it was like, well, th that's what I do. I'm in. No problem. This sounds like a lot of fun. Well, it certainly sounds fun. Now, Luke, I know you grew up in, I believe, Southern California. So how could it be possible that you don't know how to surf? Well, Colin, I grew up in Northern California, actually. I'm from Chico, way up in NorCal. So. Oh, I got it. I got yeah, it. So, well, there's no, there's, the water is not not close to Chico that's part of it like and if you and if you and if you're gonna drive to the ocean it's like it's like Mavericks you know you got the you got the Bay Area surf breaks which are water's cold and as we know there's a lot of there's a lot of predators that live up in that water so it wasn't like high on my list growing up um but you know I've been to San Diego for five years now so did a bit of surfing there lived in Australia for a year and learned to surf there so I had a had a decent foundation but like between you know what I had done and what what we did with Dave like it was like not even the same, you know, same planet. It was they they threw us the clean break, and, and, you know, and the shit people threw us out in these crazy, like dangerous, challenging situations, and you know, really kind of tested us and saw you know to find out what we had inside of us. And you got guys like Dave Kalama alongside you. It's you feel more comfortable, a little more safe. Well, Luke, you had to have some solace that Dave wasn't freaking out, so that had to calm you just a little bit. Yeah, but then look at, the thing with that is look at the aptitude, though. And, then, like, you know, we went stand-up paddleboarding with Dave, and he's, like, the pioneer of the sport, and he's, you know, he's he's the premier guy the premier guy for stand-up paddleboarding, and I've never been on one. And we get out, and we're, we paddle out almost a mile out from Maui, you know, and you see the guy, the guy doesn't get wet. And, then, you know, I can't, and I can hardly stay on the board. And, and there's this whole, like, there's a real inequity in the aptitude, and it kind of makes it feel, like, even worse than you really are. Well, Dave, share a little bit about the premise of the show. Well, the whole premise was <laughs> to get them into some adventures they wouldn't get in on their own. So, you know, the North Shore of Maui is one of the windiest places in the world, which means the, the ocean conditions are extremely rough. And uh, so it was like learning how to ski at the top of the mountain. We, we just went for it. I got them out in the water. And uh, that, was the whole, that was the whole point of it was, was to get them way outside their comfort zone into these adventures that uh, really push them. Well, gentlemen, I certainly appreciate you for your time. And Dave, you're recognized around the world as the top at what you do at paddle surfing. I'm curious, given your tremendous success that you've found in life, what advice would you give to the rest of us pursuing our dreams? You know what? It, my advice would be just to have fun, have as much fun as you can, because that's where real passion develops. And when you, do, when you discover that passion or you have that passion, that's where you start doing the things almost unconsciously that it takes to continue to do them and, and make it your life. And, and that's a really good place to be. Dave, that is some profound advice from a surfer. I just wish I had found surfing to be as fun as you did because it would be a great life. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us today. Nice Take call. care. Yeah. Take care. Well, certainly two great gentlemen. We've got to talk to them and Angie Harmon in one show. That's a, certainly a lot of star power. But as we've been teasing all show long, what's inside that museum here in Singapore? We'll find out next when we return. So glad you got to check out that clip. But listen, we've got plenty more going on here at Get Connected, our TV show. My friend and I are going to give you a glimpse of all the fun. So take it away. The sun shines bright as it moves across my face. I feel the light and everything is in its place. Oh. 
woke up feeling great. Today was made for me. And life is good the way it should, the way it was meant to be. Well, join us and we'll get you in the know. Check us out and get connected at contv.com and be part of the movement. Yeah.